Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Long time no see. It has been three months I haven't uploaded any video on my YouTube channel because I was preparing for AMC MCQ examination and finally I did it. On 6th of June I got my result and it is 11th of June. After that I started like I'm working also so I haven't got that much time to write the video script and represent to you guys but yesterday in during my OPD duty I wrote the script and in this video I'm gonna talk about my AMC MCQ preparation journey like uh, when I started preparing for the exam how long it took me to prepare for the exam and which resources I used so without a further ado let's get started so I started preparing for this exam from October last year 2023 and I was confused from where to start how to start which resources to use so I contacted one of my friends, like one of my senior, he already cleared his exam in last year, August only. So I contacted him and asked him about the resources and how to prepare for the exam. He gave me a superficial idea for the like, exam, how to prepare and how he cleared it. And at that time, one of my batchmates was also preparing for this exam. So I contacted him also and he gave me all the PDF for all the books like Zone Murtak, EMC, MCQ Handbook, Anthology and Obstetrics and Gynecology book and 100 cases of medical ethics also he gave me 100 cases medical ethics yeah so he provided me all the books pdf um, i have not any like physical copy for any book so i prepared only from the book pdf variants of every book so i had john murta 8th edition he also like he was preparing from the uh, course also he had some video lectures downloaded from on the drive so he shared it with me also so all the lectures i got all the pdfs i got so after that i started preparing for the exam Initially, I started with the like John Murtak. I was reading page to page, and uh, it was a bit difficult because uh, in John Murtak there is a lot of information that we don't need for the EMC MCQ preparation. So we just need to be smart about our studies to the point we need to study for EMC MCQ exam. So after that, I started watching the uh, recorded video lectures which my friend shared with me, and started reading the John Murtak eighth edition from point to point. Like I didn't read whole chapter like from point to point like clinical features uh, symptoms and how to treat uh, to the point for the exam and simultaneously i started doing one to two hour of amc handbook like questions mcq questions so i haven't got any questions in my exam but i did uh, amc mcq handbook twice once i covered all the topics from like john murtag amc mcq handbook and 100 cases of medical ethics and lectures video lectures recorded video lectures after that, I took a subscription of Hemadex and booked my exam on 9th of May in February only. I still remember it was 14th of February, so Valentine's Day, I booked my exam. I went with the Hemadex uh, subscription because I was confused between the M plus X and Hemadex. We all are. So at that time, I thought like I have only two to three months of preparation and uh, in Hemadex only 1440 questions are there. So I wanted to cover them all. As compared to M plus X, there are a lot of questions like seven to 8,000 questions. So it would not be possible for me at that time to cover all these questions in two to three months. So I went with them at XQ Bank and it was pretty good on this. One of the important thing I did, like I joined a group they call discussion group. Someone wrote in the group, like we are preparing for May group and we need some study partners. So I uh, DM her and she uh, added me to a group on WhatsApp. So we discussed their past six months recall and same month recall as we get them from the same month doctors who gave their exam before us. So I was really grateful for that group. Some of them booked for like, uh, some of them were booked their exam for April. Some of them were for the May month and then they postponed it to the June. So now they are going to appear in the exam in this month. So good luck to them. I am really grateful for all the participants who were in that group and we discussed all the questions with RACGP guidelines and uh, at that time I was not aware of that like uh, RACGP guidelines I was just following the John Murtak so RACGP guidelines are really important and uh, uh, whenever you are confused do such on RACGP guidelines because we need to follow the Australian guidelines it is very from a country to country so follow the RACGP guidelines you can find various group on telegram facebook and uh, from there on you can choose specific month people like you can text in the group like i have booked my exam on this this month and i want to join a group or i want to make a group like create a group for this month anybody would like to join so someone will reply to you and you will make a group you only need four to five people in your group to discuss 
and uh, they should be they should have same mentality consistency is the key so uh, try to join the recall discussion every day uh, you can take one uh, one day off in a week i was really grateful to have that group uh, same mentality people and uh, some of them participated uh, with the enthusiasm and uh, one guy like he booked his exam postponed his exam in june but still he was with us in the end day ending days also like uh, one or two days before our exam we were discussing all the questions Uh, which we got from the doctors who gave their exam on that day so it was really helpful uh, gather as much people as you can to help you the day before the exam or few days before the exam as you got the recalls because you need to find the answers very quickly and uh, accurately uh, you don't want to take any chances because same month recalls will be repeated in many exams in the that the month only so stay on top of the recalls I had my own doubts regarding the preparation of AMC MCQ because it is a complex exam and it is a stressful journey so be prepared for it. So now let's talk about the resources that I used for the preparation of this exam. So initially John Murtag is the necessary thing, it's addition I had in the PDF form. Then I did psychiatry from the Kaplan and also ethics from the, the 100 cases of ethics from Kaplan only. And I took Amedex MCQ as I already told you QBank. So I sold all the Amedex QBank. and uh, i did around 8 uh, full mock test imitating real exam scenario so 150 questions in the morning i sat down and uh, like uh, i sold all the questions within like 150 to 160 minutes so i was very quick i practiced for that like time management in real exam and how to go through all the questions so it is really important and with the time my score improved and i got some confidence that i can do it I made a mistake copy and uh, wrote all my mistakes which I did during my mock tests and revised them. I revised uh, John Murtag three times, but still I had my own doubts. Like uh, I was uh, thinking, like I don't remember anything which I read uh, from the book. So it is normal thinking only. Uh, everyone feels like that. I don't remember anything even after studying two three times also. But you will retain your knowledge and you will see during it, the exam. The, you are like uh, remembering all the things and answering the questions so uh, stay consistent keep going it is a normal feeling that you are feeling like uh, you don't remember anything last one week before the exam we just revised like me and my study partner we just revised the recalls we did all the recalls which we got from the doctors same one doctors and i revised my mistake copy so that i won't uh, i will not repeat the same mistakes in the exam and uh, that's all we did recalls and mistake copy revision and i also went through the screening guidelines for colorectal carcinoma vaccination program and all other repeated stuff important stuff like uh, milestones pediatric milestones we went through and uh, the breast carcinoma thing we went screening thing so just go through this stuff a uh, few days before the exam so that you remember like the is and the category for the colorectal carcinoma you will get the questions and you can answer easily just keep going guys i was working and preparing for the exam though my work was a bit lenient it was not that much demanding i had enough time to prepare for the exam and i was working so that's good for me but if you are working and you are not finding uh, much time to prepare for the exam just leave the work and focus on the exam because it is really expensive you can't afford to book it again so try to give it in a first attempt i still remember in the last month i was very frustrated and want to get and with this exam i was like i can't do anything more like uh, i just want to get done with it so it was frustrating and stressful phase but i went through the, that phase uh, with the help of my family members my girlfriend and uh, the group which i had so group is really important try to find up a, a group where same mentality persons are there and uh, you all work towards your goal together it will be really helpful it was a stressful journey but i always say just keep going stay consistent consistency is the key so just keep going my exam center was in delhi i went there one day before uh, i will talk in some other video about my exam day experience so i hope you find this video helpful if so then hit the subscribe button like share and subscribe and uh, till then take care bye bye peace stay no pd after 24 hours of duty kal ki duty kafi achhi gayi hai